and welcome to part three of this uh, camper van conversion. Uh, firstly, apologies for the uh, the delay in uploads of videos. We have been waiting for uh, our furniture board. Uh, there was a, a change in uh, the colour of it. Not that you're going to notice yourself, but uh, there was a change in the colour of it. Uh, so it's been wrapped slightly differently, so we had to wait for that. Also, we've been waiting for the uh, the knock-on edge, you know, the T-section, whatever you guys want to call it. So we've got a, we've been waiting on that. So now that we've got the furniture board in, still waiting for the knock-on to come. Uh, but I have made a start. Uh, we've got the petitions here. Uh, that's the the shower petition. I've got the other one made here. That's the other one ready to go in. Can't get that one in yet because I've got a bit of work to do down here with the gas box, uh, the gas underslung gas tank actually. Uh, I've got the front fascia made. Um, again, I've no T-section to to put on to put it up to finish it off yet, so it's it's waiting for that. But it's shaped in and ready. Uh, I've got the back wings made for the lockers. They're shaped into the corners. Um, I've got the bed ends made. Again, I'm waiting for that for the knock-on and what have you. I've got the bed rails in, as you can see there. Uh, they're all ready to go. Uh, I put this in the other day. This ply, um, it's going on top of uh, the existing one. We've got this corner here. Bit of a lump in the metal work that we have to get over to. In order to make that nice and flat, uh, to get it nice and sealed and everything, we've got to put some rails on the back here. I don't know if you can see them. The Yes, you can. Uh, there's a bit of a rail that goes across there that just brings it over it so you don't get that lump in the corner. Uh, and I've got me, me four mica ready to go on there to be bonded on. Uh, I've got some bed fronts made here. Uh, that's both sides. Bed rail there as well. Got the tanks over there. Shower tray down at the bottom. And we've got the uh, the locker made that's going on the driver's side there. Again, I can't put any together because of the knock on edging, but. Um, so I'm concentrating now mainly. Uh, on the shower part, I'm going to put the, the, the four mica on there, I'm going to bond that on. I'm going to do a time lapse video on that as well. I'll probably get some of the, uh, the work done on the, the bed ends and the lockers and things if I can. Um, so I'll set the camera up and we'll take it from there. <laughs>
Right, okay. So, move this lamp out the way. We've got the, um, we've got the locker up. Uh, there's nothing boxed in, as you can see at the back yet. There's no wiring done to the lights. Um, the lights are on. We've got the, uh, the LED strip light under there, as well as two directionals, as, as uh, the customer has asked for. Um, it's screwed up now, this is fitted in. Uh, I've had this wing down, I've reshaped it to take the, the shape of the locker, what we've got there. Um, I'm just waiting for the uh, the slotting tool there for the, for the knock-on engine. I've got some of the knock-on, the new knock-on cam, so I've got that on, because uh, that was pre-grooved, but I want the, uh, the other tool for that one, uh, and for the other side as well. So next stage for that, um, I'm gonna be doing some boxing in, get the wiring down to uh, all the lights. We've got another switch under here for the, uh, for the LED. Uh, for that side. Um, Rob has made a start on this side, he's got the wings in, uh, the lockers are at the back actually, he's just took them out to put all the lights on. So again he's had the lockers in like this side, uh, the wings been shaped into that. We've got another wing here that separates this back locker from the kitchen locker which is at the front there. Uh, same thing, uh, shaped on, we're going to wait for the uh, for the slotting tool to come for that. Um, this is the back piece, obviously we've got the sliding door over here so we have to put a full solid back in here. Uh, just to hide uh, obviously the back we've got obviously the, the wall for this for the back of this but we always have to put a back piece in over the kitchen uh, again this end wing is in uh, that's done it just again just wants the knocking on uh, he's been making this piece at the front here as well um, he's also got the uh, the front in uh, we've got the knock-on on that as well uh, he's been making some carpeted panels from underneath for all that boxing in so there's quite a lot of prep work done um, I'll show you I've also got the bed slats, I measured all them up and made them up, so they're done, uh, I think, have a look, yeah the other one, the smaller one that's going to make up the U-shape uh, seating area, that one's done as well, that's in, and these are the lockers he's made as well, so he's got his kitchen one and he's got the uh, the back uh, the back locker, uh, bed fronts have been finished off, that's the piece that takes uh, the, the bed that comes over and slots in, so that is, is done. We've just received the uh, the gas tank. Uh, I'm not going to film underneath the van with this because obviously I, I don't have a ramp. I'm on my back for that job, so I, I'm going to be struggling um, doing that. But I'll just give you a quick walkthrough of what we've got. So that's a tank. I think that's a 20 litre tank, I believe. And you get another box of pieces, bits and pieces with that. This is the uh, certificate. You want to make sure you get one of these as well if you do buy one. Uh, manufacturing test certificate, so you need that. Uh, that's your filler pipe. The black thin one. Uh, we call these a pigtail. These are what go to regulator. So uh, you've got the one with the uh, uh, the valve on there for the uh, for the opening. That's where that goes, and that goes to your regulator. The black one there goes on this side. That's your filling point. Uh, again, filling point. That's that bit. That's going on the side of the van. And that's the uh, the piece that goes at the back of it. We've got that. Uh, we've got the bolts and going through the cross members underneath and these are the brackets that are going on. Uh, they've, they've slightly changed these uh, for the Ducatos and the relays. They used to have um, like a box section frame that went, a uh, rectangular type frame that went and that there used to be straps that came around but they had to be bolted uh, through the pan floor. Uh, which meant it was more of a job that had to be done at the beginning of a conversion rather than an aftermarket one. Now with these, you can fit these after the conversion has been done. So that bolts to there, and then these parts here go through the uh, the cross member. Um, a bit easier, better, so better I suppose. So that's how they look, so that's how it's going to look underneath the tank. Um, we've got the filling point as well. Quickly show you this one. So this is going to tell us how much is in the tank. So there, you remove them screws. That's what they they go on there, um, and that goes to the LED if I can find it. So yeah. An LED display to tell you how much is in the tank. So all that's here. I think we've got everything. We've got uh, leak detection stuff as well. Uh, so we've got everything. Um, like I said, I'm going to offer that up uh, and start fitting that next because that is uh, it's stopping me from getting this this end petition in for the shower because uh, I've got to got to do a bit of mauling round in that that corner down there to fit that. So um, I'm going to get on with that. Um, got a couple of other things that we're waiting for to turn up, so I'm going to go get on with that and get that sorted. And hope the the other stuff turns up when I've finished. 
Uh, but I think we'll leave that at this episode. Uh, so we've covered quite a bit of furniture. I'm going to get the gas tank up. Um, hopefully next episode we'll carry on with a bit more furniture. We'll probably look at doing some of the fittings, i.e. maybe the electrics or the, the heating system and things like that. But if you've got any questions or anything like that, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, but many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.